Just in time for Mother's Day, we're going to make Jello cheesecake. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. Here are the ingredients that we're going to need. One can of evaporated milk, any brand will do. One box of lime or lemon jello, I chose lime. Uh, cream cheese, any brand will do. I, I don't use Philadelphia because this is cheaper and it works just as well. And then we're gonna need some graham crackers. This is gonna be for our crust and also for our topping. We're gonna need some butter, but to just grease our beautiful pan here that we're gonna make the cheesecake in. And you could use any type of Pyrex dish or any type of baking pan to do it in. And we're gonna need a cup of sugar. So let's get started and put some of the ingredients in our mixer. This is the can of the evaporated milk that I showed you in the list of ingredients just now. What I didn't tell you though is that I put this can of evaporated milk in the refrigerator a whole hour ago before we even started preparing to do this recipe because this is the first step to making the jello cheesecake. Take your can of evaporated milk, put it in the refrigerator for one hour, and then gather the rest of your ingredients and then we're ready to start. So I've added the one cup of sugar to the mixing bowl and now I'm just kind of dicing up the cream cheese into smaller pieces so that we could put it in here and turn on our KitchenAid and cream the cheese. That's a pun, huh? Cream the cheese with the sugar, okay? Okay, so that was going for like five minutes, all right? And it's totally creamed and beautiful. And that's the microwave because I'm nuking some hot water in the microwave because I want it to be boiling water that we can put our jello in. Okay, so this is one cup of boiling water. And who has a kettle anymore, right? Probably only my dad. And we're just gonna go ahead and put this lime jello in it and make sure it totally dissolves because we're going to be adding it to our cream cheese and sugar in a little while okay in the meanwhile I'm going to nuke a little bit of butter I'm going to start off with a couple tablespoons just in the microwave to nuke it a little bit so that we can put it to make our crust the bottom layer of our cheesecake all right so you can always buy the graham cracker crust already kind of well you don't want to buy it made because we want to put it in this big thing right here, this 9x13. So, but you can buy the crumbs that are already crumbled for you. But I bought the crackers and I put it in a big old Ziploc bag. And I'm just going to crumble it myself. And after you do it with your hand and you can't make it any finer, you can always use a rolling pin to do this to get it as fine as you can so that we can make our bottom shell part of the cake, okay? Here we go. I have crumbs, okay? Graham cracker crumbs. This is going to be a pretty good sized cheesecake, don't you guys think? Now let's press this out to see if we're going to need more. So far I've used one of the packages from the box, alright? I don't really think we're going to need any more. We just want a bottom part to this cheesecake. It smells good already, guys. I love food preparing because I love the smell of some of the foods. And here's my little bit of butter. A couple of tablespoons that we just kind of nuked. I just kind of want to pour it there to kind of make it gel together. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside and come back to the mixing of the middle part of our cheesecake. Okay, so all I'm doing here is adding the jello. Oh, I'm making a mess. You go slower. This thing needs a spatter guard thing. Well, all I'm doing here is adding the jello a little bit at a time to my cream cheese mixture. See how it's looking now? It's green from the lime jello. It's blended. So this part is done. So the only thing left for us to do is to work with our evaporated milk, okay? So let me show you what we're gonna do with that. All we're gonna do with the, our evaporated milk is get the can open. Remember, it was chilled on the refrigerator for an hour. It hasn't been sitting on this counter more than five minutes. That's how long it's been taking for me to get all this stuff done. Pour it in a bowl. We're going to use our hand mixer. Remember I gave one of these ones away one time for the show? So we're going to use our hand mixer to just go on ahead and whip this until soft peaks form. Let's turn it on. So that took about three to four minutes. And we've got some good peaks going here. 
And so now all we're going to do, we're either going to pour this into this one or pour whichever way you want to go, okay? I'm going to go ahead and pour the milk into our cream cheese sugar jello mixture right here. So we just have to get them in, in the same container. Get all my milk in here. This is smelling pretty good too. I like the smell of the, the lime jello. And, and you just want to mix it. You don't want to do the hand mixer at this point because you don't want to over mix, okay? So what we do next is just pour our wonderful jello cream cheese batter mixture, whatever you want to call it, all over our bottom part or crust. Looks pretty good, huh? I can imagine if you use like the strawberry jello or any other color jello, that's the color that it would come. I don't know how the flavor would blend, but I imagine it'd be good with strawberry jello. So what I'm going to do now is get another pack of our graham crackers and I'm going to bust it up in that Ziploc bag just like I did before. Maybe not use the whole pack. I'm going to start off with half of the pack. Yeah, stash. Bust it up in that bag and then we're going to just sprinkle it on as a topping for our jello cheesecake and then we're going to stick it in the refrigerator for until it's set and it will be about three hours just like the other cheesecake that I did before okay so let me get my crackers ready and when I come back I'll be sprinkling it on the top here we are just a light dusting looks good huh this is so easy to make even a child could make this for mom for Mother's Day and you know at my site I try to upload two videos a week Tuesdays and Thursdays but when I get swamped at my real job my day job I can only upload once a week and it will always be on a Tuesday if you see something come up on an odd day it's because I want to celebrate a day or something like if I do it on Cinco de Mayo or St. Patty's Day or something like that okay so this is our wonderful jello cheesecake I'm gonna set it in the fridge now and I'll meet you back here in about three hours Okay, so here's our finished product of the Jello Cheesecake. This is like three hours later, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut into this. Okay, it feels pretty solid. I like the green color. I said that before, but I'll say it again. I love the green color. It tastes pretty good. I like the, um, the graham crackers on the top. So, let me get a fork before I start digging into this with my fingers. Right when you want a fork, you pick everything up from the drawer but a fork. Doesn't look bad at all. Take a look at this. Let me taste. Mmm. This is so good, you guys. If you make this for your mom, for uh, Mother's Day, she's gonna just love you. I shouldn't eat this because I haven't had dinner yet. You can taste the cream cheese. You can taste a little bit of the lime jello, not too much. And this stuff on the top just really sets it off for me. I'm gonna quit. Let me eat first. <laughs> Now cheesecake is one of my favorite desserts, but I prefer the kind like this that's chilled in the refrigerator and not cooked in the oven. I like these recipes, how simple they are too, because anybody can make them. Even if you're a kid, you could make something nice like this for your mom for Mother's Day, right? I put up the recipe a few days before Mother's Day because I want you guys to have time to go to the store and get the ingredients. And as you can remember, the ingredients is stuff that you can find in any store. The lemon or the lime jello, the graham crackers, the sugar, the cream cheese. And you saw that I use any old brand of cream cheese, right? I didn't use like the Philadelphia cream cheese brand. So I want you guys to just celebrate your moms. If you're not lucky enough to still have your mom alive, then go adopt one that day. There's so many moms in the world right now that would just love for somebody to shower some love on them. This is an absolute easy, easy, breezy dessert. It's not in the cookbook that I'm promoting right now, but it will be in a future cookbook, okay? I'm going to put a link to the other cheesecake recipe that I have because maybe you'll find that one simpler than this. But I'm going to go ahead and put a link to the other one that I have. And maybe at the end of this video, I'm going to turn the camera on the computer monitor 
and show you guys how to search for the recipes at the show at, or at the site because since YouTube changed your layout and we're all using the new layout, it's very simple now to find the recipes. It's not going to be hard at all. So maybe I'll show that at the end, okay? So stick around. Um, thank you guys for buying the book, for sharing the show with your friends and family, for liking, for commenting, and for everything that you do to support me. Until I see you again, take care. So this is what you guys see when you come to my page as a viewer, okay? So I'm not logged into my page, so this is what you as a viewer see. This right here is my unsubscribe, right here is my unsubscribe video. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, that will play, trying to entice you to subscribe. And um, let me show you the stop part right here. You have home videos, discussion about, and that magnifying glass. This is how you search now in a new layout. You go right here and you hit the magnifying glass and it says search the channel or search channel. And then you could put in like rice and beans, right? And then you hit the little magnifying glass just once and then look at all the dishes that show up. The Belizean rice and beans, the slow cooker rice and beans, and they're just all rice and beans, okay? And so see, and then some other videos will show up too like the coconut milk because I make the rice and beans with coconut milk. So the search just goes with all the tags that I put when I do the videos. So for the person who was asking, well, you haven't made white rice yet, that was a recent question. See, you would go right there and you see plain white rice right there so that's how you search for the videos now I kind of like it because it's easier but nobody told me that it was not magnifying glass that my sister told me so some people like to ask about the black dinner the black soup which is the chimole or the reno so just put in black dinner because sometimes I put these words in a tag too and then you hit the magnifying glass and then see black soup chimole Belizean reno all the different soups come up so whatever you're looking for, if you even remotely know the name of it, 10 to 1, I've put it in the tags. And you can put it in the search bar right here and you can find anything you want. Like for instance, Creole buns. All right, so there we go. I think I spelled Creole and missed out the O. So trying to do this with one hand here. <laughs> See, the Creole buns come up very simple so and I'm making playlists also so you guys can um, let me go back to home I'm making playlists for you guys a little bit at a time so this is like my recent uploads my popular uploads puddings cakes see those are the playlists puddings cakes Spanish foods then I have a whole bunch down here we have beef dishes rice dishes breads uh, over here we have Quick fixes, those are the ones where I make this, the shorter version of the video so you guys can see it real quick. Soups, Spanish foods. So these are the playlists that I'm working on for you guys. So thanks for visiting the channel and I hope I've made things a little bit easier for you to be able to find what you need to find. <laughs>